It's all you can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and I am here at the buffet at Bellagio. So the Bellagio Buffet is one of the most famous buffets in Las Vegas. It probably was the first buffet in Vegas to really raise the bar on food quality and price. But does it still hold that title as king of buffets? I had to get the French toast, classic brunch item, and they're gonna be taking away this brunch food soon, so let's see how it tastes. It's good. French toast is always good. I need some meat. Prime rib, turkey breast, mashed potatoes. Let's give it a taste. Gotta start with turkey. It's one of my favorite foods in the world. That's good. If you love turkey, you'll, you'll love that turkey. Now the prime rib. I know there's a lot of prime rib lovers out there. Let's see how it tastes. Not in love with the prime rib. It's way too tough. Pork also buco and beef back ribs. Let's try the also buco first. There's big bone pieces with bone marrow. Let's not eat the bones, let's eat the meat. Pretty good ribs. Real good char, real good barbecue, smoky flavor. Not 
the best ribs I've ever had, but pretty good. Gotta try the seafood. This is oysters Rockefeller, rockfish, salmon with couscous, cod, and seafood paella. All right, I gotta try the oysters Rockefeller because even though I've had this many times, I don't know what it is. Not sure, but I think it's oysters and cooked spinach and maybe cheese, which are two of those three things I can't stand. And all three of those things together sound awful. Let's try. It actually kind of works. There's like breadcrumbs in there too. They have a little crunch. Well, that was just crazy enough to work. Let's try the seafood paella. Rice isn't cooked that great, but there is shrimp in here, there's sausage, mussels, and chicken. I can already tell that chicken is super hard. Try the sausage. No flavor, which is kind of surprising for sausage. Shrimp. Way too tough. Whoa. I need a rubber band. Let's try the rockfish. I don't know if I've ever had rockfish before, but I'm hoping it's like the rock and roll fish. Let's see. That's just dry. No flavor at all. Let's try the salmon. Salmon always has a flavor, a natural flavor. Let's see. That is some of the most tasteless salmon I've ever had. I, I kid you not, I cannot believe this. All right, the cod fish better save this. The cod is also, it's, cod already is famous for being a fish with no flavor. I know, I'll put some of these like sun-dried tomatoes on it. Barely any flavor there too. Um, the, or oyst the oysters Rockefeller were great. The rest was horrid. Avoid. Let's taste the meat. Well, this is certainly easy. So I thought. Pretty good, I mean, they're cold. You can have them heated up. There's an area where, where they were making omelets before and, and you can have them dunk them in hot water, make them hot. But they're pretty good like this. But it still tastes like crab. And I'm not a huge fan of crab. 
but it's a Vegas buffet, and where there's crab, you gotta get it. Although I do believe in eating what you like the most at a buffet, not necessarily what's the most expensive. Of course, you should have some of what's expensive if, you know, even, even if it's not your favorite. Because, I mean, look, when, when are you gonna get crab that looks like this when you're not a real fan of crab, like me? It doesn't really taste like much of anything. Except money. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about the Bellagio Buffet. And be sure to subscribe for more, because there's always more to eat. And it's all you can bake it.